Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal, and I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, we're joined by Ian Todras, a local artist who's initiated the Paint Pal Initiative through the Belmont Art Association. Ian also is one of two artists who won a grant from the Belmont Art Association and Belmont Cultural Council to paint some of the transformer boxes around town. So welcome, Ian. It's great to talk to you today. Thank you. So, so first, Ian, can I ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself? What kind of art that you, what kind of art do you do? Yes, uh, well, I'm a longtime Belmont resident and I paint in watercolor, pencil, pen, and uh, I do a lot of landscapes and dog portraits. All right, so I, I understand that you're involved in the launch of, of this new initiative, the Paint Pal Initiative with the Belmont Art Association. And um, can you tell us about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, I'm a member of the Belmont Art Association and I received a grant from the Cultural Council to work on a project and there was some leftover funds and I decided that I wanted to use those funds to do some outreach to seniors in Belmont and help them connect with one another and the Belmont Art Association through uh, learning about watercolors. So it's an interesting idea. Let me ask you why you're doing this and, and especially why now? Well, the grant I received and the funding uh, became available this year. And as you know, everyone has been suffering in one way or another from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I, I felt that there are people out there who have been unable to leave their home and feel comfortable doing having the normal social connections that they've grown accustomed to. And I really feel that painting and the creative process has a way of connecting people and engaging people and helping pass the time and do something fun, um, especially for people who aren't really used to it. So when you start to learn about how to paint and how to do something creative, it's really exciting in the beginning. And I really wanted to bring that opportunity to especially senior citizens who might feel more isolated than others because of their vulnerability to the pandemic. What do you say to someone who says that they have no artistic skills and, and might hesitate to, to get involved in the Paint Pal initiative because of that? I think that there are a lot of people out there who say, I can't paint, I can't draw, I can't do anything creative, that's not me. And what I would say to them is you have no idea how rewarding and fulfilling and frankly easy it is to get enjoyment from, from this. And I guarantee that after one hour or within one hour of sitting down with me or another artist to show you how the materials work, you would create something that you think is really beautiful and was a process that was really fun and fulfilling. You don't need to be Michelangelo to um, get a lot of joy out of this process. And also we are our own worst critics. So these people who say they can't draw, you know, sometimes I see them draw and I'm like, why do you say you can't draw? You, I think that is a really cool drawing. And so um, you have this two part process of just silencing that inner critic and taking that step forward and, and giving it a try. And I don't think they'll look back. Well, so let me ask you about your, your experience to date with the project. How, how's, how's it progressed so far? Well, um, it's been a little bit of a slow start. Everybody's really busy, <laughs> including myself, but I have uh, connected with a small handful of individuals and I met in a socially distanced out, outdoor environment. We are both wearing masks. I brought um, paints, brushes, and paper um, as a kit free of charge over to the participants. And I, I showed them uh, some basic techniques about how to use the paints, how to use the brushes, 
um, and, and uh, how, to, how to have fun and explore this incredible media. And it was really fun. We spent an hour just um, on opposite sides of a, of a table, painting together, talking, getting to know one another. And um, now I would like to um, offer anybody else who'd like to participate in this kind of a program to reach out to me and we will provide the supplies free of charge. The only hitch is you got to promise to use those supplies, but can't just sit on a desk. Okay. So, so, so um, let, let, let me ask you, um, you know, you know, as you're thinking about expanding the project and, and involving more people, um, um, how, how, how large do you expect the project to get? How many people, do, how many seniors do you think you'll reach? Well, that's a great question, Mike. I, I mean, I really, I don't know. I think that the project is scalable. There are at least, uh, you know, Belmont has a really vibrant art community. There are a lot of people there who I'm sure would be more than happy to help out and jump in. Um, I also started a, a swap shop with the Belmont Art Association so that people who have excess supplies uh, can make them available for other people who need art supplies. So I don't think we're really gonna run into a supply issue. Um, it's really just a question of uh, time and interest, but I'm, you know, if, if 10, 20 people were interested in participating, that would be great. And I envision that um, once people get started, we can connect people within this program so that they can uh, embark on this artistic creative journey with a, a buddy. And that's why I've called it a paint pal program. So ideally two seniors who are starting and just learning can connect with each other either over social media or through Zoom or something like that, or um, socially distanced way, and um, take their creative journeys together and really connect over art and share ideas and different inspirations and other things that they've done. So that the role of um, me as a you know a teacher, I can really take a back seat, and this can be something that. Um, people can make a new friend and uh, have a new activity. Well, it sounds great, Ian. Let me ask you how people can express interest and, and get involved either as a participant or, or um, um, you know, as a pal to help out. Sure, well, I welcome people to go to my website and I know you'll provide the link. And uh, there's a contact me form that people can fill out I will receive their contact information and email, and then I will reach out by phone or email to connect with them, set up a time to drop off the supplies, have a Zoom, uh, a one hour Zoom tutorial on how to use watercolors, or if weather permits and people wanna do it, we can meet outside in a safe, uh, socially distanced setting and um, sit down together face to face. Well, that mask sounds good, Ian. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us. And it's great to hear about the Paint Pal Initiative. And I know that we wish you a lot of success. So please let us know how the project prog progresses and stay in touch. I will. Thank you, Mike. All right. Thank you.